Hello everybody, welcome to Cubone, my name is Quinton. Welcome back to another Helldivers 2 weekly recap for the week of July 10th through July 17th, 2024. This week saw us take on two new major orders, one completed surprisingly fast, and the other likely to be completed by the time this video comes out. Where we left off last week at us attempting to take the planet Gatria on the southwest side of the Jin Z sector, in an attempt to bolster our defensive line, as we had no major order at the time. However, I have no announcements for this week, so without any further ado, we can get right into the news. As Wednesday kicked off, we did have a new major order begin. Briefing. In order to better predict certain previous unforeseeable outcomes, the Ministry of Science has begun a terminate research initiative. The initiative, if successful, will lead to more democratic outcomes for all of humanity and ultimately the terminates themselves. Terminate evolution is known to accelerate under duress, therefore, in order to observe potential outcomes, applying control duress to the terminates will be necessary to scientific progress. Directive. The Helldivers are ordered to kill the designated number of terminates, ideally utilizing a variety of means, in order to aid in scientific research. Now at first this was a disappointing announcement, only needing a hundred million bug eliminations compared to the two billion of major orders passed. In absolute fairness, however, not only did that first major order happen when we had nearly a hundred 150,000 daily players, but there was also a bug in place quadrupling our efforts. With that in mind, we already had 12 million within a few hours, so eh, maybe we could have handled 500 million. Around the same time, a defense began on Hellmire, a planet I had hoped the bugs had grown tired of. Rather than jumping onto the flaming plains, divers continued driving the bugs out of Gatria, reaching over 70% by Wednesday morning. Players still gradually grew on Hellmire, reaching over 6,000 by 2 p.m. on daylight time, but with 24,000 on Gatria, the planet was liberated around 7 p.m. Players immediately flocked to Hellmire, with less than 9 hours to go on the defense and the bugs holding a significant lead. Player count maxed out around 13. 15,000 around 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, but despite all of this against us, at 6.30 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Thursday, we had driven the bugs out of the planet. This defense shows as well as ever that divers can overcome any threat when push comes to shove. Speaking of, some of you may have noticed that I didn't mention the Major Order very much. The last image I was able to take of it showed it at the 12 million at the beginning of Wednesday within several hours. I actually have no idea when, but sometime Wednesday evening we had already completed the major order. Normally I get notifications when we complete these, but when I checked around 11pm Mountain Daylight Time Wednesday, the order was complete and I didn't get a notification until Thursday morning. Success! The vast quantities of terminates eradicated by the Helldivers has greatly aided the Ministry of Science's Terminate Research Initiative. Though much work remains, our understanding of the most efficacious bug eradication methodologies has been thoroughly advanced. That is a lot of long words. One key ancillary finding was that terminids produce higher quality E710 when harvested under extreme duress. This finding will guide future E710 acquisition policy, assuring our success to uninterrupted FTL travel capabilities. Close observation of the terminids did uncover a new behavior, the construction of spore-producing towers roughly the size of small skyscrapers. This development appears to pose no threat, but will be closely monitored. So we know better ways to collect E710, that's great, but I swear if I see bug skyscrapers, I am ordering Eagle 1 to drop every bomb we have on that shit. It just sounds like trouble. Now I think about it, skyscraper sized spore spewing towers, that's a mouthful, kind of resembles the TCS in a way, doesn't it? I wonder if there's something there. Very quickly after the first notification, though, High Command informed us of a plan to divide and conquer, as it were. Briefing. Following the valiant events of X-45 by the Helldivers, we have maintained a foothold in the Ymir sector, despite the Automaton's strenuous efforts to annex it. However, our units remain cut off from support. Now the time has come to reverse this strategic situation. The automatons have extended their despotic forces across vast swaths of the galaxy. This avarice has opened up the opportunity to split their forces down the middle, which would throw their cutoff forces into disarray and weaken their defenses for a short time on the cutoff planets. The Helldivers are ordered to cut a line through the Andromeda sector, joining our forces and dividing the automatons in two. We're tasked with liberating the planets Acer Pass, Marfark, Martail, and Mater Bay, something that I got con continuously wrong in both my notes and the reference images that I took is that I kept calling it Martyr Bay. Now, there are two reasons for this. One, two of the other planets in this major order have the Mar prefix. Secondly, there is a planet called Martyr Bay, and it's spelled with a Y. 
This one is Mater Bay. We could actually execute a kind of vice maneuver, however, with both Acer Pass and Mater Bay available for attack. Most divers began on Acer Pass, rising to 19,000 divers by 1.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, while over 5,500 divers instead chose to fight on Crimsica, failing to significantly affect its liberation, and 4,300 getting a little ahead of themselves on Mater Bay, also not making much impact. That was some loud thunder. I will say the choice to attack Crimsica makes sense, being the only planet providing an opening to the Umlau sector still under bug control, but with such an important major order in progress, we need all the hands we can get on deck, especially when there are too few reinforcements to make the necessary impact. As Thursday closed, the only planet with significant progress was Acer Pass, resting below 15%. Friday saw players buckle down and make some progress, with a defense beginning on Istanu at 2am, with almost 7,500 divers working on fighting back the bugs. This wasn't proving enough though, with nearly 18,000 continuing to push Acer Pass, rising it to almost 32% by 9am Mountain Daylight Time. By Friday's end, while Astanu was still going to fall, the 7,000 that had fought to get it to 85% should still be commended. Those dastardly bugs were just too much. On Acer Pass, with nearly 13,000 divers, we were quickly approaching 80%. Things were progressing gradually, but we were approaching the completion of our first planet. The bots on Acer Pass simply didn't stand a chance. As Saturday rolled around, both Astanu and Acer Pass finished their respective attacks, with Astanu sadly falling to the bugs at around 2am on daylight time, and our attack on Acer Pass finally concluding around 8.30. While nearly 23,000 divers moved to Mater Bay to close the vice at noon to New defenses began on Hellmire in the Mirren sector and Esker in the Falstaff sector. With Astanu and Crimsica already under bug control, the loss of Hellmire would mean yet another angle of attack the bugs could take into the Umlau sector. Unfortunately, neither defense looked promising, with 20,000 divers rightly continuing to raise Mater Bay over 16%. Even outside of that, nearly 8,000 were trying to get a head start on Marfark, though without much in return. We had about four days on the Mater order, and progress was still worryingly slow. By the end of Saturday, while Mater Bay had risen to over 45%, the only other big change was players returning to attacking Estanu, trying to slow the decay of the planet, with it already dropping to 32%. With 8,000 divers planet side, it felt a tad disappointing. The planet is another linchpin in the Umlau defensive line, but with two defenses on the bug front and a major order to deal a crippling blow to the bots, it was odd for this to be the second most popular planet at the time. 8,000 divers could have been huge in those defenses, as without those reinforcements, the planets were looking dire. As Sunday kicked off, both Hellmire and Esker fell around 8 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The good news, however, was that Mater Bay had seen a jump to nearly 80% by that same time, estimated to complete sometime that afternoon. That estimation held up, with the planet finally being free of the bot menace at around 2 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. This left us at a promising two planets left on the Major Order, Marfark and Martail. By by Sunday night, 17,000 divers had gotten Mar Fark to nearly 14%, and as with the previous few planets, 8,000 players were ahead of themselves on Mar Tail, trying to get some early progress there. Additionally, while over 4,500 divers were still trying to take back Astanu, the planet had fallen to just over 11%. Finally, a dispatch was released by High Command, and I'll admit I don't actually know when this was released, but I at least saw it on Sunday night. Battlefront update. Reports indicate decreased levels of automaton resistance, assuredly due to having calculated the inevitable ultimate victory of managed democracy. Press the advantage. Because of this, by Monday morning, Marfark had been raised to over 40% with 13,500 divers planet side. Estimated at 16 to 20 hours, this would leave us potentially with over a day to liberate Martel and clear the ammo. This timeline held fast by Monday evening with 18,000 divers getting the planet to almost 65%, estimated at under 11 hours by 5 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and continuing to 10 p.m. with 20,000 divers bringing it to over 81%. The planet was completely liberated by 320. 20 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Tuesday morning, and over 16,000 of those divers moved to Martail, the final planet on the order. Unease began to grow, however, as the numbers started to look a little tight. Martail was estimated between 26 and 32 hours, while the Major Order had 29 hours to go. Could the divers manage to take the planet in time and deal a massive blow? You saw the title? Yes, we did! By the time I'm editing this, the player count on Martail is hovering under 30,000 divers, while Liberation 
is over 60%. Estimated time to liberation was anywhere from 15 hours to less than 10, and with over 17 hours on the major order, barring any last minute upsets, by the time this video goes up, we will have secured the major order. Congratulations, Helldivers. And that wraps up where we are with the news as of editing this video. Some final announcements before I let you go for the rest of the day. If once a week is not enough for you, there are several options you can take. Go ahead and check out my Twitter, where I will be trying to post more Helldivers related tweets, especially regarding major order progress and things of the like, although additionally I do tend to get a bit spicy with my opinions. Alternatively, you can check out my weekly streams that go up every Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and occasionally Tuesday. This Thursday we will be beginning the Black Ops Cold War campaign in preparation for Black Ops 6 releasing this October. On Friday we will be playing a little dating simulator game called Fool's Gold with a couple of friends. On Sunday we will be beginning the Chaos storyline for Black Ops 4 Zombies with Voyage of Despair. Last week we played the map 9 but unfortunately couldn't get the easter egg done, which leads me to Tuesday. Time permitting I will be having an extra stream on Tuesday, completing 9 as well, but we'll see how that goes. Finally, I'm occasionally trying to do some extra streams in the week at the beginning of the day. I have them scheduled for around 7 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, but again, this just depends on how things go, where I'll be trying to complete Modern Warfare Zombies Act missions, and maybe get some camos while I'm at it. But that's all I've got going on for the rest of the week. Please subscribe to check out all that material, and go to my Twitch channel if you want higher quality streams and some Twitch-specific bonuses. Aside from that, remember to be gay, do crimes, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.